In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So for this demonstration here, just a friendly reminder, this width and height of your artboard really isn't going to be that important. It's more about being able to select the elements that you want to be part of the pattern and then save the pattern. You will then be able to go in and apply the pattern to elements in your designs. So I'm going to go ahead and create a 4 inch by 4 inch artboard here. And now, some friendly reminders here whenever you're getting ready to go ahead and make your pattern here. The first thing is, is under your window drop down here, you're going to want to open the pattern options uh, tab here. However, when you do that, remember, because I don't have anything on the artboard right now, you're not going to be able to actually interact with this window. So let's go ahead and add some elements onto our artboard. Remember, you can use symbols, shapes, lines, and brush strokes to generate patterns. You can even also use type. So for demonstration here, let's say maybe I go with the star tool. And I want to make maybe some gradient stars here. So I go ahead here and just design a couple of quick stars. Maybe kind of position them here so they're kind of really close to each other. When you're ready to start your, making your pattern, once you have all of the elements in place that you need, you're going to want to use your selection tool and then do a marquee select around all of the elements. And then from there, coming up to the pattern options window, you're going to want to click on the hamburger and make a pattern. Now what has happened is number one, the Illustrator is telling you that it's been added to the swatches panel. You can say okay to this. But the big thing to pay attention to is notice how along the top bar here, you're now in the pattern editing mode. You have several options here, including save a copy, done, or cancel. The big thing to pay attention to is done. This is going to commit your changes to your overall pattern. So for instance here, maybe I change my mind about one of the stars here. And what I'd like is for this star's fill to be a little bit different. Also too, I think I'd like it to have a different fill color on top of a stroke color on top of that. Any change you make to the core inside of the grid element here will be reflected in the rest of the pattern so you can get an idea of what your pattern will look like. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and name this pattern. I can call this maybe Starry Pattern. And then remember, you can also change how the elements lay out with one another. That you can do bricks or you can do hexes. Now, you can also even change as far as which ones are showing in front and also to the width and the height of the art. The last reminder before we hit done here is remember you can actually come in using this top button here, the pattern tile tool, and you can actually change as far as spacing and positioning around those center points there for your patterns. Anytime you're done working with that, you can just click on it again and it'll lock that tool into place allowing you to come in and make edits. So I'm going to go ahead and say done. Now, if it asks you, you know, that anything about as far as active content, and this is because I chose one of the styles, Jive here, that's okay. We can tell it okay. And now what I'll do is I'll delete the originals here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big box uh, on my artboard. There's that starry pattern. I'm going to click, drag, and drop. And there you can see your pattern has been applied to your element in your design. And that is, again, just a reminder on how you actually create patterns when you're working in Illustrator.